Kyle Kirkwood is one of the most decorated American drivers to make their way to IndyCar, winning championships at every level. And now he's showing us why he was so sought after. Win number two on the season, and this one took a lot of work. Tell me about trying to hold off a hungry Scott McLaughlin at the end. Man. How did you do that? Man, I'm not sure, to be honest. He was so fast at the end. We were really good on just the initial lap. Um, but right there at the end, man, they were so fast, and they ran me down just in that last lap. Um, but I got to give it off to the, the 27 crew, Auto Nation, uh, Andretti, Honda. I mean, they, they played everything in my favor, to be honest. Uh, they, they gave me all the tools I needed. Um, I really only made a couple passes on track, and they, they cycled me to the front on strategy, and we just made really smart decisions and hit all of our marks. Uh, so just a solid day for the 27 crew, no doubt. And from eighth. So I know win number one is always going to be difficult to top. But what's the significance of win number two? Does it feel like validation that it wasn't just a one-time thing? No, I'm here. I'm for real. No, it, it definitely does. You know, it, last time I was here was not not a very fun event. We were super fast, and I just needed some kind of redemption, and we got it here today. So it's uh, it's super cool. And, and like I said, hats off to the crew because they, they did a phenomenal job as well. Andretti Autosport has been fast all year on street courses. They convert again. Kyle Kirkwood, a winner in downtown Nashville. Dave. Now, what a day for Kirkwood. What a day it could have been for Joseph Newgarden. Where was the two car for you today, Joseph? Um, it was a great day, I think, you know, all in all. I mean, I'm disappointed with fourth. I've, you know, we're never, we're never happy unless we're leaving with a win. And, um, you know, even for this guy behind me, Scott, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's going to be disappointed with second. But I felt like we ran a really good race. You know, there was a little more opportunity that just didn't materialize in the beginning. Um, you know, typical street course stuff. You get used up a little bit at times. Um, it's just what we always see, you know, it gets, gets tight, as everybody knows. Um, but I thought it was a really good day from our team. I, re I really thought they executed well. You know, some things we got to work on for sure that I think are pretty visible to us. But, you know, everyone's done a great job. You know, I think uh, Team Chevy's always elevated for us. Um, great job this whole weekend, PBG, with their support. So I think we can leave here pretty, you know, pretty happy, but um, just wishing we had a little more. Were you aware of Pelot's situation when it was a bad fuel situation for him and your opportunity to pounce? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew the story. Okay, no doubt that he knew what was going on. Just couldn't do anything more with it, Dylan. And Alex Pelot somehow comes home in the third spot. He and strategist Barry Wands are here recapping their day. When you crossed the line, you said, oh, my God, I can't believe it. How improbable was, was this result today, given how bleak it looked at one point near the end of the race? Um, we had the speed. Uh, it was improbable after the call we did on that first yellow. Uh, honestly, we talked about it uh, before the race. We expected more yellows. Um, and it was not the right call, but uh, hey, we survived. Uh, we made it work. We were saving a ton of fuel uh, throughout all the race, and it was a tough race, honestly. Had a lot of stress going on, um, but we made it work. Uh, we're on the podium, so yeah, couldn't be happier now. Sometimes in, you have years where it just seems like everything kind of falls your way. I think that's been a year for you guys like this this year. As we look down the road to, to three races or four races left in the championship, when do you start to look at that? There's still a lot of racing left, but it's looking good for you guys. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've done a tremendous job throughout all year. Uh, all the strategy calls, honestly, worked out. Uh, we've been lucky sometimes, like today, we have to say that. But uh, yeah, we need to get that number 10 American Legion on top uh, on the championship. So we'll keep on pushing. We'll keep on thinking about races uh, and wins. And once we get to the last race, we'll probably think about the championship. This 10 team continues to keep their foot down and the pressure on everybody else around him. And Pelot finishes third today, Dave. And Dylan, Scott McLaughlin kept the pressure on as well. First, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Just, uh, I gave him my all, man. Just uh, tried my hardest, but Kyle, congrats to him and his team. Just an unreal job. Days like today, I probably should have worn the cool suit, but I eat too many pies, so uh, I'm, it's, a, it's a bit heavy for me. But uh, the Dex Engine Chevy was great, and uh, you know, I'm really proud of everyone. Another, another top three. Good points. Fun we didn't get the win, but you know, we went best on the day, Kyle was, and uh, props to him. Another year where Nashville was very good to you and you were very good to Nashville. Do you feel like it's yours at some point? Yeah, yeah, at some point. Hopefully next year we run for the championship and then we win, and then we win the championship as well, and it should be a huge party on Broadway. But anyway, it's, uh, I feel really good. I'm really proud of everyone. Thankful for all this, the support for the, of the 33s. The pit stops today were unreal, and uh, just really proud of the effort. And um, Go have a few waters and then maybe a few beers. Beers. Yeah.
Sounds like the right chaser. Yep, sounds like the right chaser for Scott McLaughlin. Dylan. Scott Dixon finishes in the fifth spot today, so everybody expected there to be a bunch of yellows. There wasn't today. How did that impact the strategy and, and what you guys had to do behind the wheel? Yeah, well, there was, right, the two at the end. I think there would have been maybe two or three cars in front of us that weren't going to make it, the 10 especially. So, you know, uh, good job for them. It's just one of those years they're having, and congratulations for, for having a, such a smooth one. But, yeah, we needed it to go green the whole way. Uh, we knew even the two was, was struggling a bit to get the mileage. Um, I think had we cleared him early in the race, we would have we would have checked out. He was His pace was quite slow. So difficult to pass here, and he was driving, you know, uh, so well. You know, getting it uh, off, the, off the corners on the straights perfectly. So uh, credit to Joseph there. But, uh, yeah, tough day for PNC Bank or a tough weekend, you know, with the crash yesterday. Had we started a little further up, uh, you know, I think we would have had a, a much better day. How tough were the conditions out there? Everybody's gotten out of this car and looked like they're just gassed. How do you feel? Don't feel too bad. You know, first uh, first time this year I've on the cool suit, so that definitely helped. Um, the hottest part was when we came in for the red flag. So, you know, uh, it's what it is. But, um, yeah, it's a, it's a physical place here, and it's a fun race. It's a difficult one and definitely uh, unpredictable, but uh, it's a lot of fun, man. It's good to be here. It's Michael Andretti, and you've got a lot of the other key people. You were talking about Brian Hurd over there. I see Dan Towers back there. So you've been so fast on street courses and you got number two what's the significance of, of where it is for the program to be able to convert today with Kyle finally to put it together you know we've been fast all year and uh, always something seemed to go wrong but finally you know with the, the 27 car made it and uh, so happy for everybody on the whole uh, team you know it was uh, awesome you know happy for Auto Nation and Honda it's been a it's been a while so it's been good to get back here Kyle won a championship before you at the level below, and then you had to wait a year before there was a spot for him. What did you first see in him when he was coming up in the road to Indy? Well, we knew he was special when he drove for us in uh, in the Indy Next Series. Uh, he he just uh, he's the overall driver. Like he's well-rounded, you know, very smart, um, quick, uh, knows when to push, when knows when not to. So. Uh, yeah, he's, he's the real deal. Congratulations, Michael Andretti. Andretti Autosport wins the Music City Grand Prix, Lee. Yeah, Music City Grand Prix, coupled with the Long Beach Grand Prix. That's a pretty good year. Hi, folks. Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.